because we always have to come back for the camera. That's why I never normally bother. Back to the lowland walking now today. Um, got an eight mile route planned. Straight out of the top end of Talgarth. We're heading off across the fields. And we're going up into and through Parkwood. I've heard cuckoos in Parkwood while I've been here. This is the first time I've heard a, heard a cuckoo in years. So we know they're up These there. trees here, pair of oak trees. Um, Great spotted woodpeckers uh, nest in there. And they regularly come to feed in my aunt's garden. Today's route is uh, taken from this little guidebook which I got from the tourist information, or my aunt got from the tourist information for me uh, ahead of my visit. Uh, there's a little tourist information spot in Talgarth itself full of uh, maps and useful things. But uh, we're following walk number one today. It's an eight mile walk. In their classifications, it's moderate to hard. Uh, through Parkwood to Ross for finishing at Puthrak Fall. There we go, Puthrak uh, translates as the witch's pool. I've been there before, it's a lovely spot. Um, so I thought I'd go there again. I was gonna take a different route today something that sort of like went up a little bit higher um, to Car Castle Dinas to take a look up there but um, the cloud cover is very low it's very, very humid they're expecting thunder we're expecting thunderstorms later uh, so I thought I'd um, sort of scrub that one and sort of do a bit more of the woodlandy stuff and the slightly lower lower down foothills the whole of this route is covered on this little waterproof map leaflet that's been a reprint of the OS uh, on the out and about Talgarth. So it saves me having to take a great big map. Uh, so it's just a little fold out in my pocket, which is ideal. Here's Parkwood, beautiful sort of mixed woodland, uh, ash, oak, lovely on a steep, steep sided hill our path lies off in this direction one of the other routes in the book number two goes up that way but we're heading off this one We've left Parkwood behind us and we're heading on uphill across this meadow on a very old trackway which uh, brings us out to, Fli I'm going to call it Falindre, Falindre Common and then heading into the foothills of the Beacons eventually. Hi, sheepy. Hey, buddy. Well, I've definitely had a lunch break in worse places than this. Lovely little spot, and the sun has come out. Glorious.
now and we're heading down to towards Puthrak Nature Reserve and Waterfall. This little private place has a shepherd's hut which is quite a lot posher than mine but a uh, lovely place to be uh, for a weekend retreat or a holiday home or something. It's a lovely view there, the site of uh, Castle Dinas, uh, as you see in the middle foreground. You can see why that hill was such an important strategic position, because it looks right down over this valley. into the Puthrak Nature Reserve. Puthrak, I can reliably inform you, means witch's pool. And of course, there is a possibility that it was a place they used to uh, test whether or not a lady was a witch. I tried, might have drowned them in there, so even though we might hear the screams of the long gone witches. And there it is behind me, the waterfalls of Puthrak. As you can see, Wilma is absolutely loving this place. Come on. Good girl. Wilma and I are about to head back down the road into Talgarth. We'll save you watching that bit. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all again soon.